Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as The Pop Air. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a getting ready with me video, trying out new products. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click on the subscribe button down below. I mainly do a lot of makeup related videos and I also vlog about my personal life. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've just prepped my skin. I've just applied some lip balm and now I'm going to apply a little bit of facial oil. So this one is by Rosehip Plus. So it's basically a rosehip oil. I only get maybe like three drops. Um, and then I rub it into my hands. I always believe that prepping your skin is the best way you can get your makeup looking flawless. Um, so I always just concentrate like on the perimeter of my face. So my forehead, um, around the jawline. So if you guys watched my vlog from Wednesday, you guys probably would have known that I went to the L'Oreal Tower. I got a lot of goodies from Nyx's team, L'Oreal's team, Maybelline's team. I've just been really, really spoiled. I'm so, so thankful to their individual or respective teams. Uh, so I've got a lot of new products to try out. So I'm going to do that with you guys on camera. Okay, so I'm going to start off first with the eyes. I'm going to be using this palette from L'Oreal. So this is the Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette. So as you guys can see, it's got some color correcting concealers and some um, flesh tone shades. So I think I'm just going to use a lighter shade and I'm going to pop that all over the leaves. I'm going to use my finger for this one. Ooh, very nice and creamy. The mirror's a bit tougher. And it's, wow, look at that coverage. It's pretty, it's pretty full on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to set that. Now, I don't have a new face powder, so I'm just going to grab one of my old face powders and I'm just going to set that. Okay, now let's move on to an eyeshadow palette. So this one is the Rock Nudes by Maybelline. So um, I don't think... Oh. I don't think this has been released yet or it's relatively new here in Australia. I'm, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go for a dark, smoky look. I am really keen on using that blue there because I haven't used blue in quite some time. Okay, taking a big, fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take that... I would call that a taupe colour, or taupe. Okay, so that colour is a little bit light on me, so I'm just going to grab that other colour there. It looks like a darker taupe colour. Just really need something to really build up that transition colour. Okay, so just from looking at the selection from this palette, it looks more like a cool tone palette. So if you guys are definitely into the cool tones, very dark smoky eyes, Definitely this one is one part to check out from the drugstore. Okay, next I'm going to take one of these flat laying type brushes and I'm going to be grabbing that colour there. That looks like a matte charcoal black. Okay, so I'm just concentrating this colour onto the outer V, then bringing it slightly into the crease. Now we're going to go into that blue colour. Just going to lay it down onto the lid. That blue is beautiful, but I want it to really pop. So I'm going to be grabbing my NYX Matte Finishing Spray, spritzing my brush, and then just putting it on like that. Oh, that is stunning, guys. You see that? Okay, so I'm just gonna take that matte black at the corner um, and reapply a little bit more into the outer V. I feel like this shine has overpowered the matte, so I'm just gonna deepen it out a tiny bit. So I'm trying to wing this out a bit more because I'm definitely going for a winged look today. Okay, a clean blending eyeshadow brush just to blend those harsh edges. You know, I think I need to blend this up a bit more. I think it's a little bit funny. And then we're going to move on to eyeliner. So this one is the Maybelline Master Precise uh, Liquid Eyeliner. So I've heard so many good things about this eyeliner. I haven't actually tried it out myself. So here is my first impression. Oh, whoop, it fell. Here's going to be my first impression. So um, liquid eyeliner. Oh, that's a very, very fine tip. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very, very fine. That is beautiful. You can definitely create a very thin line, which is helpful for people like myself who have a bit of a hood situation um that's really handy and you can also create a very fine line okay next i'm just going to grab a tissue and a blot of thy skin and now, now the reason i do this is because i feel that my skin's absorbed what it needs so what's ever left on the skin is just excess so this is what i love to do before i apply my makeup these days um for events and when i'm filming just because i feel like it gives the skin a very nice soft glow and the foundation just doesn't settle into the fine lines okay i've also got a new primer this one is from maybelline again this is from their superstay line it says makeup extending primer and it just says primer. 
Ooh. It's very um runny, milky. It's got a very um sort of chemically scent, not overpowering. And it does dissipate, so no issue. Okay, so we're going to go back into the palette. So the Total Cover palette has um, this nice orange, but it's a little bit too light for me to use as color correction. So I'm going to be grabbing my own color corrector and popping it onto my five o'clock shadow. Okay, next I'm going to grab that lilac color. And I do have a little bit of sallowness underneath the eyes, like around here, the tops of my cheekbones. So I'm just going to concentrate that there and as you guys can see i do have a little bit of redness around my cheeks and a little bit on the sides of the nose um i'm going to try it and see if this green oh that's a nice mint green let's see if this green will do that for me so a damp real technique sponge i'm just going to press that into the skin Girl, I look really weird. Okay, so I'm moving on to foundation. I've got a new foundation from L'Oreal. This is from the Infallible line. This is the new Total Cover foundation in number 32, Amber. Uh, this one seems to be a pretty good match. Um, so let's just put this on the face. Um, it looks a little bit neutral tone, but that's all right. Um, I can work with neutrals. As long as it's not pink tone, I'm good. pretty impressive I like that um, I think I'm going to apply a little bit more so one layer with a sponge gives you a medium full coverage let's see if I can get full-on coverage with this girl that is impressive so in terms of coverage it's definitely like a medium full but closer to the full coverage side I wouldn't say it's complete full coverage um, but it's pretty damn good and in terms of finish it's definitely more on the matte side. It's not completely matte. It might also be because I used a facial oil underneath, but to me at the moment, it looks more like a soft matte. Okay, going back into the concealer palette, I'm going to be grabbing the middle shade and on a concealer brush, I'm going to pop that underneath the eyes. I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring or highlighting, I should say. Okay, and just to add a little bit more light, I'm going to grab a little bit of that lighter color damp sponge honestly i probably wouldn't need to set this concealer because again it's got more of that like soft matte finish but i'm going to be a little extra and i'm going to be baking underneath the eyes just going to set my base using my normal face powder Okay, another new product. This one is from Maybelline's Face Studio. This one is in 01 Blondes. This is their um, NY Bricks Bronzer. So that's what it looks like. So going back into that charcoal color. So like, I think that's a charcoal brand actually. A bit colorblind. <laughs> I'm just gonna run it onto the lower lash line using a pencil brush. And okay, now we're going to move on to a little bit of cream highlighting. So this one is by Maybelline. This is the Master Strobing Stick by Face Studio. And this one is in 100 Light Iridescence. Um, it's a pink toned highlighting stick. Let's see how this goes on top of the set makeup. I know you shouldn't do that, but let's just see how this goes. Ooh, that's nice. If you guys would like a subtle highlighting, this is definitely one to check out. Okay, so the highlighter that I'm going to be using today is by L'Oreal Paris. This is the True Match Highlight in mm, Rosy Glow. I was gonna read the French one. No, 202 Rosy Glow. Okay, so I'm just gonna swirl, oh, wrong brush. I'm going to be swirling my brush in all three colors. Access off and set that cream highlighter. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's definitely got more of a soft glow, but really intense when you get your brush wet, as opposed to like super, super bright highlighters. <sighs> okay, so I didn't really contour my face today and I do feel like I really need to, so I'm just going to grab this one. This is also a new product to me. So this one is the Rodial Instaglam 04 Dark Contour. Okay, next I'm going to move on to eyebrows. So I haven't used a Maybelline eyebrow pencil in quite some time, like it's been a few years. So this is the Brow Precise Micro Pencil in Auburn. So it's gonna be a bit reddish. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I remember these. I had I, These were like the first eyebrow pencils I ever used. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, next I'm going to go over that with this brow artist marker from L'Oreal. So I don't know what shade this is in. Cool Brunette. It's got um, a big crayon and this is what you're supposed to use like to blend it. It's like a kabuki brush. Um, so let's see how this goes. So this is definitely more for people that would like a natural look. And if you guys have naturally thick brows already. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a cold pencil from NYX. This is from the Two Timer pencil. Just going to run that onto the waterline. And next I'm going to grab a smudger brush. I'm going to take the matte black from the palette. And um, by the way guys, yes I am wearing contact lenses. These ones are by Solotica. They are from the Hydrocore range and they are in the shade Crystal. I had to say that so many times. Uh, I basically got them from visionmarketplace.com. If you guys would like to get a pair of contact lenses, doesn't matter if it's Solotica or anything, anything from their website, 10% off coupon code is going to be on the screen and down in the description box down below. So I'm just gonna use that smudger brush and smudge that eyeliner a bit. Okay, next for mascara, I'm going to be trying out this Big Colossal Shot Volume Express Mascara. So I'm a big fan of the Colossal range. Um, so this is one of the newer ones. Obviously I'm wearing false lashes, so I can't test out this mascara to its full potential, but I'll definitely do a review and tell you guys what I think about it. So before I do my lips, I'm going to set my face using the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Okay, for the lips, I think this look needs a nude lip just because of how dramatic the eyes are. So I have got the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Nude Whisper. And I've got the Color Jolt in Stripped Down. Ooh, no joke guys, this Smells so good, and I do have to say this color reminds me so much of Velvet Teddy from MAC. It's insane, it, it really looks like it. Okay, this is going in my makeup bag, I really like it, I love it. All right, so that is the final look, guys. Hopefully, you guys like it. I um, I really like it. I haven't worn blues in quite some time. And every time I do one of these trying out getting ready with me videos, I do sometimes fear that sometimes one of the products isn't going to work out and it's going to ruin the entire look and then we're gonna to have to start all over again. Um, but I do have to say everything that I tried out today has been good or really, really good. But I do plan on doing product reviews on the actual foundation, the concealer palette, um, lip jolt oh my god so so good i love it the primer um the highlighting products i really want to do a review on those um those are the ones that i'm really keen on doing reviews at this point in time but if you guys would like me to do a review on any of the other products that i've mentioned in this video oh and that mascara by the way too um if you guys are interested in knowing my opinion or doing a product review on any of the other products that i've mentioned in the video feel free to leave me a comment down below and i will get to it as soon as i can um so yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful and tell me down in the comment box down below which of these new products that I've just talked about are you guys keen on trying or have you tried it I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products so. so yeah don't forget to check out these other videos by the way on the screen check out all my social media links down in the description box down below if you guys aren't following me there already and yeah thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in the next video bye